just now you all the noise in the background. That's my wife and the girls fussing about something. I don't know what they're fussing about, but forgive them. Good evening, everybody. I know everybody get ready to go to bed, so I'm going to drop this payload and uh, be out of here in a minute. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me know if you can hear me fine before I get started. I want to make sure that what I'm saying can be heard. And uh, also, since I have my book, Chapter, Verse hat on, uh, if you'd like to have information or like to buy uh, uh, merchandise uh, for from me and supporting uh, the uh, book chapter verse family. I think I'm going to call that. Yeah, book chapter verse family. Good. Hey, Kelly. Hey, everybody. Cindy, what's DEFCON? DEFCON stands for Defense Conditions. That's what it stands for. Look it up. Uh, Google it. You'll see that there are five uh, conditions of readiness of defense. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, watch the videos. I'll, I've gone into uh, explanation on that. All right. All right. Good thing. Good thing. Thank you, Miss Loretta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lavina. Hey, sister. I know everybody can ready to go to bed. We all got to go work in the morning, but uh, I didn't want, I did not want to um, hold on to this uh, particular um, package, if you will. Wanted to, to, uh, to drop this one. Uh, I believe that once this one is dropped, um, you be the judge. OK, you be the judge. You tell me after this, after this one is dropped, what should G. Craig do? OK, I'm going to leave it up for the viewer. I'm going to leave it up to the supporter. I'm going to leave it up to those who follow, who, who bought, who, who, uh, who have considered and even may have contemplated. As some of you have based on your emails, keep bringing them, keep sending them. I really appreciate it. I do read all of them. Uh, it may take me a while to uh, respond to them because I do work for a living as well. Uh, but but I will do my best to respond to your emails and to your questions to the best of my ability. But again, uh, inbox me if you'd like to get information on, and getting merchandise um, ordered to you. Um, book chapter verse. We have hats. We have sweaters. We have t-shirts. We got hoodies. We got uh, beanies. We we have um, uh, Nala. What we got? What kind of merchandise we got? Tell them real quick. Come here, open the door, open the door, open the door. See, this is real life stuff right now. See, you ain't got to stick, you ain't got to stick everything in. You, just, you got what? We got hoodies, hoodies, sweatshirts, sweatshirts, um, different kinds of hats, different like kind of beanies, hats like beanies, t-shirts, t-shirts, women's tank tops. Women's tank tops. Um, let me see what else we got. Uh, so hoodies, crop sweatshirts, crop sweatshirts, and crop hoodies, and crop hoodies. All right. Those hats. Thank you, fam. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Fam, Miss Fam said she's ordering hers uh, now. So see. Okay, I'll handle right. that right now. All right, she said she's gonna handle that right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna read some scriptures to uh, to lay down the foundation. Uh, I am not gonna be before you long. I, I promise. 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 You always promise that. Your preachers always promise that. I got it. I understand. It's late. I know we gotta go to bed, but this one has to be dropped. Okay, but I want to read some scriptures, uh, lay down what I want to say, have that biblical foundation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did open the door. That's right. What up, though? All right. So um, first Corinthians 15, 33. First Corinthians 15, 33. The Bible says bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good morals. Uh, you are a representation of the company that you keep. That's why our parents always wanted to know the people that we hung around. Who are you seeing? Who are you uh, hanging with? Whose house are you going to? I don't know them. Uh, I don't care who who house they you know they they who house is down the street. I, if I ain't talked to their parents, I, I no. That's how I was back in the day. So bad company corrupts good character. Um. First Timothy 5, 24. First Timothy 5, 24 says that the sins of some men are quite evident going before them to judgment. The sins of some men are quite evident going before them to judgment. For others, their sins follow after. What does that mean? That means simply this, 
There are some sins that people do automatically gets exposed. Then there are other sins that people do. It gets exposed later. But you know what the overarching principle is? The sin gets exposed. And since we are God's sheep. And those of us who name the name of Christ, we know that we represent him, that we are his ambassadors. We are to speak and to represent kingdom principles and thought, word, and deed. We don't, we don't have a vacation day for holiness. We don't have a vacation day for right living. We don't have a vacation day for standing up for truth. We do not have a vacation day to say whatever we want to say and then we just pick up this whole Christianese thing later on. No, we are who we are by the grace of God. Therefore, how we live is in direct proportion, in direct relationship to whether or not we are born of God or children of Satan. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, <clears throat> Luke chapter 8, verse 17. I want to turn there. I just want to give you some scriptures before I, 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 I share with you what this, uh, this new package is, this payload that I'm about to drop. And, and, and remember, remember, G. Craig, you asked for it. Remember, George, you told me, do it. So I'm doing it. I'm going to do it until you're done. Ministry wise. I'm going to do it until every venue that you attempt to go to will get copies of the blog, get copies of the people that you have had sex with, the people that you have had inappropriate relationships with. The people that you have abused, misused, mistreated, put in hospitals, sent to therapists, contemplated killing themselves, sending them and causing them to depart from the faith. This is how far I'm going to take this campaign until you are utterly broken to nothing. And by the anointing and spirit of God, that is my 100% desire and goal. So I know you hear that because you have people watching. So I'm making my, my intent and my motives clear. I want you done. Well, you cannot even teach anybody to do anything because you're disqualified. But in Luke chapter 8... Verse 17, the Bible says, for there is nothing hidden that shall not become evident. No, anything, no, anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Nothing hidden that won't be remain, that won't be made known. Nothing that we do in the darkness is going to stay in the darkness. No, it's going to come to the light eventually. And, uh, this is about to come to light. Um, and in case those of you are afraid, let me encourage you. Do not be afraid. Why? Because our Lord Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. One more, another, another principle, another exhortation, and another uh, statement of truth. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. The Bible says, "For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind." I read these texts because I wanted to lay the foundation out. And in laying this foundation, I have been encouraged, even in the midst of sometimes being discouraged. I've been overall have been encouraged because God is God is raising up people. Uh, God is causing people's eyes to be open. 
God is using the videos that I would encourage all of you, all of you who are watching this live right now to share the videos that I post on YouTube, send people to the YouTube channels, send them to the YouTube channel, send them to those videos. I have dozens and dozens now of these videos exposing G. Craig Lewis, exposing EX Ministries, exposing ABC. Why? Because this man is not a Christian. What'd you say? I didn't stutter. This man is not a Christian. Didn't you, didn't you uh, used to support him before? Yep. I did. You know what? Just like Paul supported Demas. And then five to seven years later, Demas defected. You know, we can we can ride with people in this walk and then cease riding with them anymore because of how they live. And I, and I tell people all the time, it is not how you start. It is how you finish. Um. So, for me, I don't consider G. Craig Lewis to be a Christian. I know some of you are going to say, well, you know, don't you pray that he repents? Yeah, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says, if perhaps, let me just read that. Let me just read that. Let me just read that. Because I think we sometimes, we, we miss this. This is 2 second, uh, second Timothy uh, chapter 2 here. How we are to respond uh, to those who are um, in opposition. The text says here, verse 24, and the Lord's bondservant must not be quarrelsome, but be kind to all, able to teach, patient when wrong, with the gentleness correcting those who are in opposition. If perhaps, notice, the conditional clause is depending upon God. God may grant forgiveness or grant repentance if perhaps God may grant them repentance leading to the knowledge of the truth and that they come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil having been held captive by him to do his will so it's God's it's God's determination to whether or not he wants to grant G. Craig Lewis repentance but you know what so far don't see it have not seen it for years because this man is hell-bent on being arrogant and being prideful and refusing to hear correction, refusing to follow anyone. Now, he'll say that he is submitting himself to Will Ford, and which is a surprise to me that Will Ford will align himself with a man who has not followed Christ and how he treats people. I wonder, does Will Ford understand what he did on yesterday? I, I've never met Will Ford. I have nothing uh, negative to say about him in the context of uh, who he is as an individual. Unfortunately, G. Craig Lewis does. G. Craig Lewis has insulted this man. G. Craig Lewis has attacked this man's sexuality, called him gay, talks about his wife, talks about him and his marriage, saying that his marriage is going to fail, calls him weak. He says all these things. And, and, and you know, the, the, the sad thing about it is these people know what he says about them and they go right along and partner with this man. And I don't know how you can do that. The Bible says we are to depart from a person who's given to anger. Uh, we're, we're, depart, we're to depart from the presence of a fool. You know, the, the Bible says that, that a fool's mouth brings ruin. You know, Proverbs 10, 10 14. Uh, the Bible says that whoever utters slander uh, is a fool. In Proverbs 10, 18. This man has gone on the <clears throat> on the business and, and is run the business of slandering people and has gone unchecked. People who try to correct him, he attacks them. Uh, he's not accountable to anyone. And unfortunately, People don't see anything wrong with that. They make excuses for for G. Craig Lewis because you know what? Like attracts like, and no student is above his teacher, but when fully trained, will be like his his teacher or her teacher. Um, so why why are we here? Well, here's why we're here. I'm, I'm going to pass upon the uh, the emails that I've received from people. I may read that at a later time, since I've already kind of like you know said more. Uh, than I had intended to say. 
So let me just say this. G. Craig Lewis is a danger to Christendom. He may have started off good uh, with a shoot behind hip hop videos and things of that nature. Um, but he's gone off the rails. He's gone off track. He has gone to the place, I believe, where uh, it's, it's past conspiracy theories. Now, this is straight up heresy. How can you sit yourself down and uh, claim that you are sitting yourself down, but for what reason, if you get back up and do the very things that you should be sat down for in the first place? But see, again, you don't have biblical elders. Uh, Will Ford is not accountable. Uh, you're not accountable to Will Ford. I know you said that, but you're not accountable to Will Ford because Will Ford um, isn't a part of your eldership team. So G. Craig Lewis's ecclesiology, which is the doctrine and study of the church, is all messed up, intentionally so. This man does not know biblical doctrine. This is the same man does not, that does not believe in water baptism. He believes that water baptism is a Roman Catholic ritual. This is the reason why he did not baptize people for years. He just did it, and technically he didn't do it. The elders did just two months ago. So for this church's entire existence, their pastor, who is supposed to teach them the word of God, this does not believe in believer's baptism. He considers that a Roman Catholic ritual. Doesn't believe in communion. You know, the ordinances. He does not believe in the ordinances of the Lord's Supper and baptism. Oh, Clemente said, oh wow. Clemente said communion is optional. When I asked him why George did I don't know how communion is optional. The, the Bible says, whenever we come together, do this in remembrance of me. Doesn't sound like an option to me. But anyway, no students above us teacher. So anyway, let's get back to this. So why are we here? Here's why we're here. I have a, I have a statement from an individual um, that sent this to me this afternoon. I, I do not know uh, this, 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 uh, this lady. But this lady knows G. Craig Lewis. And so I'm going to read this. And uh, what I'm going to say is going to shock you. It is going to appall you. But here it is. And I'm quoting now. You're probably going to want to hear from me. G. Craig Lewis and I had an inappropriate relationship back in 2012. I had substance abuse issues. And he played off of that. Later, I told him I didn't want to send him inappropriate pics anymore. And that when I started talking to him, I did not have a sound mind. He said, quote, you think I didn't know that? End quote. He laughs at his fans for their gullibility. Does listen to secular music and also watches porn. He has said that he wants to kill Reverend Gerald Palmer, the pastor who used to speak out against him. I mentioned that I mentioned that I had some family members who didn't agree with this doctrine, and his response was, quote, people like that should get hit by a bus, end quote. I heard some shocking stuff from him. This is how it started. I was raised very Christian all my life, but fell out of practicing faith from late teens, late teen years to 20s. My parents started giving me these DVDs of this man. They were big fans of the Truth Behind Hip Hop series. My stepdad could, could, could be his fan club alone. I must admit the things that he was talking about in his videos were very interesting. And I started to become a conspiracy theorist. I followed G. Craig on social media and commented on agreement on one of his many posts, just like others had. Next thing I know, there's a private, there's a private message from Mr. Lewis to me asking me to email him. Of course, being a fan of someone that was pretty exciting to receive. I, of course, emailed him and he asked me for some professional advice on some muscular issues because he is a bike rider. 
I gave him my advice, but the conversation continued. At first, it was a pretty neutral conversation, and then we exchanged info, and the correspondence continued. Of course, this was exciting to me, and I was becoming infatuated quick. Let me clarify that at the time we started talking, I did not know he was married. I was a new fan and knew very little about him. I noticed before he got bolder in, with his flirtatious text, he requested to video chat with me to make sure I am who I say I am. He said he had quote unquote spies. Pretty soon, him and I were chatting from the time I woke up in the morning while I was at work and when I got home until I went to bed. The more I became infatuated with him, I started listening to his A Truth a true church perspective podcast. One day I was listening and I heard him mention his wife stunned and disappointed. I didn't stop corresponding with him like an idiot. In referring to me, she says we were long distance and had not met in person yet, but he did end up flying out a few times before, before that I would come home and there were packages at my door gifts. He sent me money to get a better phone so I could send him clearer, quote unquote, pics. The funds were sent through PayPal from EX Ministries account. Maybe he started to get paranoid because he always wanted or he always, excuse me, talked on his regular email, Google Plus, and occasionally video chatted. But then he requested me message him on another account linked to his uh old photography business. Fast forward to when he flew out. I guess he felt like maybe he couldn't trust me to not say anything. So he said that he had to fly out here for a quote unquote preacher's convention and met up with me while he was there. I do not believe that there was any convention. He just didn't want me to tell anyone, quote, G. Craig flew out here for me, end quote. He stayed at a hotel near my job. And I met him when I got off. I was surprised at how short he was in person, which explains the Napoleon complex. His first comment to me was, quote, I didn't know you were that small in person. You're about my daughter's height, end quote. Very superficial. I will admit that we never had sex, but we did mess around a bit. It happened three times throughout the course of our weird relationship. Every time we would, every time we would both do, every time we would both say we felt guilty afterwards. After the first time I saw him in person, I started to change and get my substance abuse under control. I was addicted to narcotic painkillers from getting a dental procedure a while back, and I also was an alcoholic. As I began to get clean and sober, I also got back into my faith and for real. Not just listen to George's conspiracy theories and misogynistic sermons. One night in particular, I had just gotten back from a prayer session and my mind was so far from any of the shenanigans I had been involved in when I get a message from G asking me to video myself in the bathtub. I wouldn't do it and told him I didn't feel right about it anymore. He said he understood, but he stopped talking to me after that, which is good. When the infatuation wore off, I really started paying attention and noticed how his fans treated him like an idol and couldn't make simple decisions without George's approval. Examples, quote, pastor, is it okay for men to wear red socks? Red and pink are in the same family and pink is feminine, end quote. I would read these comments and laugh to myself, but it is really a sad. All these tactics George talks about that secular artists and the elites use to manipulate you, he he does them too. And it's the truth hidden in plain sight. If he knows how they do it, he knows how to do it. I eventually told my parents about everything and admitted my part too in, in not stopping the communication when I discovered he was married. My own parents said to me, quote, it's the message, not the messenger. I couldn't believe it. It causes a lot of resentment and it made me finally question the beliefs I was raised in. 
I began obsessively researching the origins of Christianity and examining it without apologetics, like I had always done before. I am now agnostic, as of four years ago. I decided to follow George, but simply so I could be front and center when he finally gets exposed. I had no doubt in my mind that this was a cult and his followers take on his personality. Then it seems they finally wake up and they're replaced with more gullible people. When him and I were talking and I was infatuated, I would pay attention to everything he did online and who interacted with him. I remember your name, Sacred Woods, when you were a fan. I remember Pilgers777 on Twitter, Jonathan B., Moses Dolo, Kiana Joseph, Lynn Siller, and many other fans, many of whom he blocked and would belittle. I was told Kiana Joseph is just a woman obsessed with social media. She's superfluous and she can't even get her husband to go to church. This woman was very supportive of his ministry. But all it ever was was a gossip fest calling people Jesse or spirit of dumb, end quote. When I came across your channel exposing George the other day, I wasn't surprised it was happening and debated just sitting back watching. However, I do not I do want rather to stop this man from getting away with using his platform to manipulate and hurt people's lives. Luckily, I never acted on my idea to move out to Texas like many of his cult members have so once uh, have so once. And I, once I was done with him, that that was it. And I can go back to my life. What has affected me, though, is seeing my parents caught up in this cult and belief system. I am sorry for my part in disrespecting Sabatha because our relationship was not appropriate. But I am glad that it sparked me to reevaluate religion, the Bible, and to start using critical thinking. I do have some receipts, but I'm, I am not sure I want to go that far due to it affecting my family. I wish you the best in your quest to wake people up as far as this cult is concerned. P.S. George told me that his wife would say he is like a lost puppy in the bed. But when he gets behind that podium, he's a beast. It makes him feel bigger, which is why he does what he does. End of quote. When I read her statement, <clears throat> I reached out to her, um, whose name I'm going to need uh, leave anonymous right now, even though um, it's not uh, person's name for security purposes. Uh, but when I reached out to her, I responded to her and I said hello. I said thank you for your response. She said no problem, no problem. Take this man down, end quote. No problem, take this man down. Um, I'm gonna stop there. I'll leave that decision up to you all. I'll put this on my YouTube channel shortly. But, Will Ford, brother, let me ask you, is this who you want to speak highly of? A man who took advantage of a drug addict? A man who had inappropriate relationships with a drug addict? A man who used a drug addict for his own Benefit and for its own pleasure, allegedly. Let me ask those of you who will still follow this man. What more do you need to hear? What more do you need to know? Where is G. Craig Lewis? Where is George? Why is George hiding? Why would George 
tell an entire church to silence themselves on social media. Those of us who are wise, we know. We know why. But I just want you to think. Outside of the rapture, where do we find a church just vanishing and going off grid? I'm just asking. Don't you find that rather strange? Don't you find that rather odd? Don't you find that rather cultic and cultish? That a man can tell people to do something and unfortunately, without even thinking, without even questioning it, without even asking why they do it. I just find that rather, rather strange. Now, some of you may not even like the fact that I read this. Just like some of you may not have liked the fact that I posted the names of the individuals in my blog uh, this past weekend. Um, the scriptures is clear. Names can be mentioned. Names can be said and stated and exposed when sin is committed. So this is not a personal thing for me, but I wasn't expecting a letter like this. And, and I don't even know this individual. But some of the things that this person has said, you know, I, 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 I've heard similar stories like this before. Wasn't able to track it down, wasn't able to trace it until, until today. Now, if this is a lie, all G. Craig has to do is come on video and refute it point by point. Because the last time that he made a conversation or made a statement regarding the email that I put up when he was speaking with Fred Price Jr., he said that it's 90% fabricated, 10% true, but it's in the past. And I still raise that same question to all of you. What part of the 10% in that email that, that all of you have? And if you don't have it, Seiko Woods, S-A-I-K-O, Woods with an S at yahoo.com. Somebody put that in the, in the, in the chat for me. Seiko Woods at yahoo.com. S-A-I-K-O-W-O-O-D-S at yahoo.com. What part of the 10%, George, that you're saying is true, but it has, it's in the past, i.e. been dealt with? How do we know that? Where are the receipts at? Because even if that's true, you're still disqualified. But again, since you don't have a biblical church, this is why churches like this occur. And why people who are claiming to be pastors, they continue to stay in these positions of authority because they have nobody to hold them accountable. So so what, what about you, ladies and gentlemen? What are you going to do about G. Craig Lewis? What, what, what else has to happen for those of us in the body of Christ to rise up and to, you know, respond? What will be your response? I know what my response will be. Absolutely. April last week was the past. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, again, you know, another nuke. I'm still in DEFCON 1. We won't have any peace until God's people, those who are truly God's people at ABC, are free. That's my mission. That's my assignment. I don't plan on leaving my post. Uh, you said, shoot, address my live, address something. Yeah, 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 I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree, Delilah. Um, address, yeah, address the Lala statements, address, address, uh, uh, address my statements. I mean, address Kelly Sosa's statement. I mean, address people's statements that have, have asked you questions. I know you're not going to do it because, you know, people, when, when a person is a coward, they don't, they don't want to respond to, to people who challenge them and hold them accountable. But anyway, just wanted to read this to you all. Um, again, it's, it's, it's 10, 25. I'm about to go to bed. Give me some rest. But I did not want this uh, day to pass without reading this statement. 
share the video, uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can do that through the through the pay options, through PayPal, through Zelle, through Venmo, through Cash App, uh, however the Lord leads you to do that. Um, for me, this is going to be, I, I, I see this is going to be a mission for me to help people to understand that deception and a, a cult that is in our in our midst is a threat to the people of God. So um, pray for me, pray for those who are uh, a part of this, this, uh, this quote unquote church. Uh, and some of you have been, some of you have been delivered from that. So we all need to be mindful that, but for the grace of God, we too could be just like those who are still blind, that are still walking in deception, thinking that they are receiving truth, but what they're receiving is lies in our lives. So anyway, I'm about to let you all go. Um, George, you can respond to that if you want. Praise God. You see, I'm still getting messages of girls who no longer go to ABC apologizing now. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. That is great. That is great. That is great. Um, and because that's what it's about. It's about, we, this is a rescue operation. And this is spiritual. We're dealing with strongholds in the mind. And it is, it is, a, it is a stronghold over there. It is a stronghold over ABC. It's a stronghold uh, with EX Ministries. This man does not care about the people of God because it shows in how he treats them. So, um, that's it. That's 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 really all I have to say. Um, I'm gonna I'll share this and, and post this on my YouTube channel. Um, again, you know, share this information if you could, please. I would appreciate it uh, because it means a lot. When we share information, when we share truth, other people can be set free. Sanctify them in the truth. That word is truth. That's what the word of God says in John 17, 17. We're, we are to be known by how we walk in the truth. So anyway, I love you guys. You guys have a great uh, uh, evening. Get you some rest. Prepare your hearts for the next day. Um, and, and again, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your prayers, your support. Um, uh, keep us lifting in prayer. We'll do the same thing for you. Again, SacoWoods at Yahoo.com. If you like a copy of the of the blog that has been uh, circulating around, uh, I got to make some more circulations uh, and, and send it to other outlets because I want to get the truth out. I want to get the word out. If you know people who work for radio stations, send them, give them that blog, give them that information, inform the body of Christ, other churches, give it to the body of Christ let us take a stand and start marking those who cause divisions, as the scripture says. All right. So let's do that. Together we can do it. We can make a lot of things happen. So anyway, love you all. Y'all know this real. Whatever you do, do all to the glory and honor of God. God bless.